Hey everyone, so we will be doing Diesel from Trahackme today. Uh, I have already started the box and we have our RP here. Let's see what do we have here. So generally I start with the rust scan to see the all ports which are running. Then we will do a map. After that we get the ports. Like we have SSH, we have SMB. See what we can do. About the SMB uh, until the scan is running, we can do uh, SMB client dash L and our IP and dash, and so it doesn't ask for the password. So it doesn't give much. Uh, said here you have like six well known posts, but we don't get much from that. So we will do a map scan. Don't have a scans directly. Let's do the end map and we have some shares here. So admin and see uh data SCI team is interesting because we can assess it. I think let's try assessing it and the scan is running. You can do this. I have already done the room so you can see the old results are here. See after we get into uh, SMB we can list the files what we have here. You can see we have some uh, JPython files, JPython uh, Jupyter uh, notebook files. And pi uh, and some visual doc text and some folders. Uh, I should just copy this all to our directory. Let's first create an let's first create an SMB directory. And you can do L C D S M B go there. And now we can uh, copy all these files to our system. Using mget. So to copy all the files from that, we can do like uh, we will do mask nothing because this equals to on, and we will do prompt, and then we can do mget everything. It will just uh, download all the files. So this is for recursive and this is for it, it doesn't ask us for every time for downloading a file. We have an unmapped scan here, so let's see what do we have. Basic we have a uh, SSH at 422. This is for Windows. We have Windows 7.7 here, and then we have uh, this uh, SME ports, and then I think this is for Windows. And at last, we have a web server at 888. Let's have a look at this uh, port. So we have a Jupyter notebook here, and we have it asked our password token. Token authentication is enabled. So we need a token to get this password. Initially, what I did was uh, let close this all this thing. Initially, what I did uh, go to SM. I checked all these files. So, what are uh, these? We can just do a recursive search. So you can see that uh, in the miscellaneous we have Jupyter token dot text. But what I did was uh, check uh, each file one by one to see what does it contain. It, it only contains some research data about uh, weasels. You can have a look at uh, it if you want. If you have, we have weasel.txt. I thought this was important. So, going to this link, it was a blog article on climate change affecting weasels. So, I don't think this is much of our use. We will just get the miss and Jupyter token. So we have our token here. 
you can log in using this token <coughs> don't see it. so after we log in uh, uh, quite simple to do steps after that uh, we don't have any running notebook but we can run a notebook so i just you can just uh, edit this thing and get a shell what i did <coughs> was quite easy uh, to understand at this page of an average So now we have this thing, Jupyter Notebook. We can see it runs go on Python here, so we can just put a reverse shell here. Uh, I have already, uh, I have this, uh, this uh, reverse attack that contain uh, reverse shells, so we will use a Python one here. We can just copy this part because this is the shell. And just pasting this here and run and we should get a shell so now what we can do is uh, stabilize the cell so I, I know that python 3 is in this box i can do this and we wait for our shell to So we get our shell here. Now we can export the term. We can use control L and all the shortcuts, hotkeys. Now we will background the shell and use STTY to get a stable shell. Now when we have stable shell, we can see these are the all the files that were present in the SMB. What we can do is uh, list files that we have here. Uh, nothing of much of use we know we are in base uh, because let's see what why do we have it here because we are running uh, in an, an uh, anaconda virtual environment we can just deactivate it if you if you want but we can uh, move forward nothing nothing bad is happening with that so we have sudo l and we can run uh, this thing and this thing uh, with the pseudo privileges so let's try do, um, doing this if we do sudo and run pin jupiter from our local pin so it says uh, uh, command not found because this file doesn't exist i think well let's stop la and paste this file so we don't have anything like here so we can just copy bin bash to this file and then run sudo and we get a root shell so my initial thoughts were uh, this was not supposed to be this easy i go to root and we don't have anything so this means we are in some kind of virtual environment or a docker container so i tried ls.la but we don't have any uh, docker environment and uh, we saw that this room was a uh, windows room marked as windows in text so that may be thinking that uh, this may be a wsl room so we uh, can check this by wsl on so we have a wsl config here so it's a auto mount is uh, not enabled that means we must have a, uh, a link to the windows room uh, using the mount we go to mount and we have a c directory just uh, go to c we don't have anything here as it's not mounted so you can just uh, google how to mount c in wsl and you can see how do i mount c drive in wsl so we can use this sudo mount this thing this command here copy paste this 
Let's copy paste this. And we can do. We want to mount it in C. And we want to mount the C drive. So it ran, and we can now go to C and see what do we have here. So we uh, have mounted the Windows system, and it's all readable, writable, executable. That's why it's showing in this color. So we can just go to users. we have administrator here and dave uh, uh, data as uh, data science low privilege user so initially i tried to get a shell but it doesn't work i was not able to find any shell any any kind of i even tried because um, i even tried this So I even tried reading and writing to uh, this SSS folder because we have some keys there, but it doesn't work. It have authorized keys and public ID addresses. I tried reading and uh, uh, trying to do SSS with them, but is it is it, uh, it doesn't work. So what we can do is uh, just go to desktop, and we can see we have we can lead user source text. I will blur it because that's what try hack me wants. And similarly, we can also access administrator uh, root password root has root flag so nothing much we can do here i don't think this was internet path so i will update this video uh in the right way on uh, the right i will upload the later part with, uh, with uh, of this video with the internet path you can see we have root.txt so this room was overall very easy for me. Not uh, as marked medium, it's not definitely not medium room. Uh, I will upload another video with the second part doing a shell with Windows and doing the Internet way. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll put my notes uh, in the description if you want to see that how I actually make notes that's all